Alright, let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. Alright, y'all see what we got going on here. As y'all see the thumbnail, y'all read the title under the thumbnail. Yeah, man, today's video is dealing with your guy, Black Youngster, or should I say the PRE Op. So check this out, man. The feds, they finally investigating all the heavy cap affiliates. Y'all want to know why? Because they finally got the footage of Black Youngster going to Young Dolph Gray's site, releasing bodily fluids, and doing all kind of messed up behavior that, again, Grove Hero had told y'all about three, four months ago. See, Grove Hero was trying to tell y'all that Black Youngster, he was doing all type of bogus activity, not just going to Young Dolph Gray's site, but also pulling up to Caste while the folks in Caste is trying to get over what happened with Young Dolph. So it's almost like he's antagonizing the whole situation. You understand? So dealing with that, that's why your boy, Yo Gotti, had to distance himself from his little guard dog, Black Youngster. And with that, Yo Gotti, he's not the only one. Moneybag Yo had to do the same thing. That's why y'all only see Moneybag Yo really around finesse two times. Because those two guys together, they really just trying to get the bag, man. They not trying to do nothing that Black Youngster is getting into that wound up bringing the feds around the different CMG, BGE, and Finesse Two Times mob ties. Even though J. Prince Jr. mob ties, they got the feds investigating them. So again, going back to Finesse Two Times, that's the reason why Finesse Two Times, he's more comfortable around Money Bag Yo. Because like I just said, you got two sides that he's dealing with where they bring an undue heat and they got the feds on their coattail. And again, that's Black Youngster. And on the other side is J. Prince Jr. Mob Ties. So back to your boy Black Youngster. We knew this day was going to come. All the folks had to do was be patient. See, at first they really couldn't do nothing because it was your Gotti Cousins who was part of the Scorpion unit that was trying to hide the fact that Black Youngster had his hands all in the cookie jar pretending to set Young Dolph up. But again, we all know that Black Youngster, he didn't pay or orchestrate the whole play based around Young Dolph's setup. Him or Govin. A lot of folks already know who it was. And it's mostly pertaining to Yo Gotti brother Big Juk. Again, Yo Gotti brother Big Juk, he's the one with family members on the department. Again, that was part of the Scorpion unit. To make sure that his name didn't get brought up or Black Youngster's name didn't get brought up. Even though Black Youngster, he's the one parading around Memphis like he actually sent up Young Dolph. See, all the folks got to do is follow the money. Again, Govin or Black Youngster, they ain't got the money to pay off these guys. But at the same time, we're aware that Yo Gotti brother Big Juk, he got the connections and he got the bag to pay off whoever that's in a position to assist in setting up Young Dolph. See, what y'all got to understand is Young Dolph, he ain't just get sent up for this and Big Juk. See, there's a lot of folks in Memphis that's aware that Yo Gotti, he was jealous of Young Dolph because Yo Gotti, he had like a six to seven year head start on Young Dolph even before Young Dolph created Paper Route Empire. Now Young Dolph, he was seen as a top label in Memphis similar to Yo Gotti CMG. And that's what had Yo Gotti jealous. See, a lot of that jealousy stems from the respect that Young Dolph had in Memphis. And the reason why, because Young Dolph, he focused on a young generation. He looked out for the young cats to make sure they can't provide for themselves and their family. So again, that's the reason why a lot of folks out of Memphis had respect for Young Dolph. Before we get into it, man, as always, let's first pay our respects and say rest in peace to Young Dolph. Condolences to his family and much love to all my folks in Dolph land. See, I got a lot of folks in Dolph land. They know the real story, man. See, but at the same time, they been trying to keep their composure and let the feds do what they need to do. But like I told y'all, man, at first, the feds really couldn't do nothing because Yo Gotti Cousin, who was on the Scorpion unit, again, he was hiding all kind of information. And I'm talking about, too, the things that Straight Drop was involved in and how he was able to even get close to Young Dolph. You feel what I'm saying? As far as, like, Straight Drop, he knows the person who sent him over there. I know you had a lot of folks saying that it was Key Glock. Key Glock, he won't do nothing that bogus to Young Dolph. He had too much love for Young Dolph, you understand? So again, back to your Gotti cousin who was on the Scorpion unit. He was hiding information pertaining to the things that Straight Drop knew and also dealing with the camera footage 
that's in that whole parking lot. Come on, man. It's over five stores that got all kind of camera footage pretending to that date of November the 17th, 2021. See, again, I keep telling y'all, man, you got to have the proper people that's paid in position to make sure that the paper route frame play go as planned. And that's exactly what happened. You understand? So dealing with this whole video is that black youngster, he can't hide too much longer. Again, even with him separate himself from CMG, because that was something Yo Gotti wanted him to do. Because Yo Gotti knew he can't really make real business moves with the goofy black youngster engaging in all type of criminal activity and bringing undue heat right back to Yo Gotti CMG. So you got some folks saying Yo Gotti, he made the smart move by associating himself with Jay-Z and hooking back up with his old fling, whom is Angela Simmons. See, that lets y'all know, even Yo Gotti, he feels the pressure. Again, all because of his guard dog, Black Youngster. I just want to say real talk. I wish none of this happened to Young Dolph. And I know a bunch of folks in Memphis that feel the same way. They wish Young Dolph and Yo Gotti, that's PRE and CMG, coexist in the city at the same time without no disputes. But I know we can't get everything that we ask for. But it's just messed up that somebody like Young Dolph, who is always looking out for the community, gets sent up by the same people that he was looking out for. I understand what Young Dolph did as far as creating those diss songs towards your Gotti brother Big Juke and how you had some of Big Juke peers stepping up to him based on some things that Young Dolph had said about him in those diss songs. So right now, this is the time that a lot of Memphis cats need to stick together because we seeing all the undiscovered talent that comes out of Memphis. So if they stick together, more could come from this. Yeah, folks, Black Youngster, he didn't put his foot in his own mouth with all that extra goofy activity. Now, ain't no running once the feds come knocking at your door. And they ain't only knocking at his door. They going to everybody that's affiliated to him. Again, that's why Moneybag Yo and Yo Gotti, they had to distance themselves. Because they got too much going on. And you got your boy Black Youngster over here bringing too much undue heat. Because he loves all the attention based around him allegedly having something to do with Young Dolph being sent up at the cookie shop. See, and at the same time, while they investigating Black Youngster Heavy Cap Affiliates, just two days ago, Straight Drop, his visiting passes, and his phone calls was put on restriction for a month longer. All because in November, Straight Drop, he decided to do a song while he was in 23 and 1. So once they found out that Straight Drop did a song while he was locked up, they put him on phone and visitation restriction. And again, that was what, five, six months ago. And now you got straight drop representation. He's trying to get straight drop privileges reinstated. And that tells y'all how deep this really is. Because they got four cats locked up. And they still don't know who sent up Young Dolph. That's only because they ain't have the real camera footage. Again, that the Scorpion unit was keeping tucked low. Because they feel like straight drop is sending messages back and forth to Yo Gotti, his brother Big Juk, and they love guard dog, Black Youngster. To let guys know, he ain't got nothing to do with it. So that really only leaves Cornelius Smith, his cousin, Jamarcus Johnson, and Govin. See, I told y'all from the beginning, straight drop, he was just there to get close to Young Dolph, to watch Young Dolph moves. He wasn't there to up the burner and actually send up Young Dolph, you understand? Like I've been trying to tell y'all from the beginning, Straight Drop, he was already positioned to be the send-off, a.k.a. the fall guy, a.k.a. the pawn of Yo Gotti brother Big Juke chessboard. Because me and the other folks been trying to tell y'all, this been a whole chess play the entire time. Y'all just got to pay attention. That's the reason why they keep shoveling in different pieces. But now with them investigating Black Youngster heavy camp affiliates, all because Black Youngster want to go to Young Dolph Gray's site, with some very disrespectful behavior that even other Memphis cats stopped messing with Black Youngster and his heavy cap affiliates. That's the reason why Black Youngster, he really couldn't promote Big J90 or Lil Migo. Again, I try to tell y'all, man, that attention that you want is not going to be the attention that you was looking for. Because all that mockery behavior that Black Youngster was putting on, ain't do nothing but had them alphabet boys knocking at his door. Hey, but we get more in store. As always, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. 
subscribe to the PDH Network.